Abigail, John, come here. Listen to this. It's like I've been telling you all of these years. What is? Oh, this passage by Mr. Miller. I can't believe I never read this before. Listen, all of you, listen to this. Get on with it. Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the whole point of America is freedom. Freedom of thought, freedom of deed, freedom of action. Yet how have most of our brethren responded to having their yokes cast off by getting on that boat from Europe? By enslaving themselves. They may no longer be serfs tending some master's field and giving them rights of refusal on their wives, but they have found themselves new masters in the relentlessness of ownership. The attempts at dominion over the land have enslaved them, not the land. In owning things, people, businesses, the former serfs of Europe have become not masters, not stewards, but intellectual dwarves managed by the world quite as much as Europe's enduring peasantry. And in many ways more so, for they are tricked into believing they are free, whereas the peasant knows he is trapped. Isn't that, isn't that the truest thing you ever heard? Not, not quite the truest. The truest thing I ever heard was this. My little boy crying because he didn't have enough to eat. Meaning? Meaning Fine words, but are no parsnips as I used to hear. Excuse me. Enjoy your book, Dutch. I think it went over her head. How's it going? About as well as can be expected. Good. I think it did. Mine too. Oh, stop playing dumb, Arthur. I know you better than that. Mr. Miller ain't really my thing, you know that. <laughs>